2.5 million rows of data in Microsoft Excel? Impossible. No, it is. Let me show you in a few easy steps how you can import 2.5 million rows of data into an Excel file and end up with the data analysis and a small file size. Let's go. Two point five million rows of data within an Excel spreadsheet. It sounds impossible. If you go to any spreadsheet in Excel, you click any cell, you use your end and down arrow on your keyboard, you will find that you can only accommodate 1.048 million rows of data. So how is it possible for me to import 2.5 million rows, do calculations or extractions of the data and also create a pivot table and end up with a file size that is almost half the size of the original file. The trick is using Microsoft Power Query. Power Query will link to an external data, import the data into the PC or computer's memory, do all the calculations there and export them into Excel into a pivot table. Now, the original file is a CSV file. If you look at the file, if you open it, for example, in Notepad, you will find a region heading, a product heading, a date heading, and a sales heading. I have 2.5 million rows of this data. What I would like to do is out of the date column, I would like to have the day of the week. Out of the product column, I would only want to have the last section of the product code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Power Query to import the CSV data into Excel, put it in the data model, and from there I will create my pivot table. So let's start. So I go to data. I say from a text or CSV file. It will then open my um, windows and I will, or my file explorer in windows. I will go to the specific directory and I will find the file. It is called copy of sales data one CSV. What you can do is you can check the file size. It's 111 megs. I click on the file. It will now open my Power Query and import the information into Power Query. It gives me a preview of the data. I say transform data. And it goes through a process of importing the data into Power Query. As easy as that. There we have the data, the region, the product, the date and the sales. Now before I um, export this data into the data model, I would like to do some calculations. The first thing I would like to do is extract the last character out of the product code. So I click on product, I go add a column, and I say extract, I say the last character, and I say for example the last one character or single character. It creates a column only with that information. Out of the date column I would like to extract the day of the week. So I again click on the date column, I go add a column, I click on the date option in Power Query, I go day and I say provide me the name of the day. As easy as that done for 2.5 million rows of data. I'm going to extract that into the data model, I go home, I go close and load, I close and load two. I say only create a connection and add this to the data model. Excel will now extract the data for me. On the right hand side you can see how it is extracting the data 1.3, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.
1.7 million rows of data and it only takes a few seconds and I have the 2.5 million rows of data. Once the extraction has completed, it will confirm that it loaded 2.5 million rows of data into the data model. I'm now going to create an easy pivot table from the data model. So I go insert, I go pivot table, I specify from the data model. I confirm the sheet. On the right hand side, I get what I call my building blocks for my um, pivot table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sales in the value section. I'm going to put the product in the rows. So there I have all the sales per product. I would like to do an analysis on day of the week. So I also add day of the week. So on the left hand side, you can see I have a day of the week, the actual products and the number of sales for that specific column. Let's see if we can add this and make it a sum. Now the reason it's giving me an error is in the original data, it did not convert those sales numbers to a numeric field. So I'm just going to click OK, cancel. I'm going back to data. I go back to my queries. I double click the query. And what I need to do is just check the header for the sales. You can see it says ABC sales. So I click on it and I say make that a decimal value. It's going to give me an error and this is an interesting fact with um, Microsoft and Power Query. I'm going to undo the step on the right hand side and I need to replace the full stop with a comma to convert it to um, my regional settings. What I need to do is to replace the full stop with a comma to make it a decimal value for my region. So I click on this specific column, I go transform and I would go to um, replace values. And I'm going to say replace the full stop with a comma and OK. Now let's see if I convert this to a decimal number now and it accepts the change and now you can see it's a numeric field. I'm just going to close my power query, keep the changes. It will now update the pivot table as well as the data model. Once it has completed loading the data, I can go back to my pivot table, click on my pivot table, um, get to my pivot table settings right hand side I open my field list and I will click on the sales value again value field setting let's see if sum works and now it's giving me the sum of that column I'm just making it wide enough and what we can do now is we can add a filter for the day so we can analyze the data per day so I click inside my pivot table I go pivot table analyze at the top I go insert slicer and I specify that I would want a slicer for the day name. And as easy as that, I can now analyze 2.5 million rows of data in Excel. As easy as that, I have tried this. I have added four times 2.5 million um, rows of data which means four of the files that I've used originally and I was still able to use it within a pivot table and within Excel with the limitations within the row sections. Um, so yes it is possible to use Power Query and import data into Excel even if it's more than the allowed 1.048 or 2 rows of data. Now if I go and check the file size, um, you will now see the difference in sizes. The original file, the CSV, 
you can see is about 111 megs where this file which I um, saved as millions um, in Excel is round about 50 to round about 50 to 55 megs so even the size of the file is almost half